A Dance of War and Water, The Harlem MMA Battle Unveiled. Hendrik Cornelis Virum was one of the pioneers of Dutch marine painting, a genre that flourished in the 17th century golden age. He was also a master of depicting historical scenes, especially those involving naval battles and maritime incidents. His painting, Battle Between Dutch and Spanish Ships on the Harlem MMA, is a remarkable example of his skill and creativity, as well as a testimony to a crucial moment in the history of Harlem and the Netherlands. The painting, created in or after 1629, portrays a naval confrontation that took place more than 50 years earlier, in May 1573, during the Siege of Harlem. Harlem was one of the first cities to join the Dutch revolt against the Spanish rule, and as a result, it was besieged by the Spanish army for seven months. The Harlem MMA, a large inland lake, was a vital supply route for the city, and the rebels tried to recapture it from the Spanish and their allies, the Amsterdamers, Amsterdam was then still loyal to Spain. However, the attempt failed, and the rebels suffered a crushing defeat. The battle was a turning point in the siege, as it weakened the resistance of Harlem, which eventually surrendered to the Spanish in July 1573. Virum's painting is exceptional in that it depicts a defeat rather than a victory, which was uncommon in art. The reason for this choice lies in the fact that the Siege of Harlem, despite its tragic outcome, was seen as a heroic episode in the Dutch Revolt, as it demonstrated the courage and resilience of the Harlemers, and also exhausted the Spanish forces, paving the way for the subsequent victory in Orkma, 1573. The bravery of the Harlemers was widely praised, especially in Samuel Ampzing's Beschreibung und Lof der Stadt Harlem of 1628, a book that celebrated the history and culture of the city. Virum was commissioned by the Harlem authorities to commemorate the battle for the council chamber in the new wing of the town hall, where it was hung alongside other artworks that glorified the heroic deeds of Harlem citizens in the past. Virum was paid £750 for his work, a considerable sum at the time. He based his painting on historical sources, such as eyewitness accounts and maps, but he also used his artistic imagination and license to create a dramatic and captivating scene. Virum shows the battle in a bird's eye view, with a high horizon that allows him to depict both the ships and the landscape in detail. The composition is dynamic and balanced, with the Amsterdam and Spanish ships sailing from right to left, and the sea beggars, the rebels, sailing from the south. The ships are relatively small, as they had to navigate the shallow waters of the lake. The painting is full of action and movement, with the ships firing cannons, flying flags, and maneuvering in the water. The water itself is a prominent element in the painting, as it reflects the light and the colors of the sky, and creates a contrast between the calm and the turbulent areas. The background features the skyline of Harlem, seen from the east, with its distinctive buildings, such as the St. Bavos Church, the Town Hall, and the windmills. The River Sparon, which connects the city to the lake, is also visible. On the left, the Harlem woods are on fire, a sign of the devastation caused by the siege. The painting is a remarkable combination of realism and idealization, as it captures the essence of the place and the event, but also enhances them with artistic effects and embellishments. Virum's painting is not only a historical record, but also an artistic expression of the emotions and values of his time. It conveys a sense of pride and patriotism, as well as a sense of tragedy and loss. It reminds the viewers of the sacrifices and the struggles of their ancestors, but also of their achievements and their legacy. It is a painting that celebrates the spirit of Harlem and the Netherlands, a spirit that survived and thrived despite the hardships and the challenges. It is a painting that dances with war and water, and unveils a story of courage and resilience.